Hello, YouTube family. Patrick with Patrick's Playbook back with another really fun Dollar Tree haul today. Happy Monday, everyone. I'm really excited for this haul. Um, if you haven't seen this channel before, if you're new, uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notification, share, or leave a comment. Um, any one of those five things, of course, really help the channel. And um, if you are an old friend, welcome back. I have a really exciting haul for you today. Before we begin, I have an announcement. An announcement of, I'm just teasing this, of a giveaway. We are going to have our first giveaway on this channel because we are so close to, we're one, I think one sub away, one subscriber away from 900 as I film this. And so we're getting close to a thousand. So when we reach 1000 subscribers, we're going to give something really fun away. I'm not going to tell you today. I'm going to tell you in our next Dollar Tree haul, but we are so excited. We are so humbled by everyone who has helped this channel grow. You know, just like any, just like when anyone starts any kind of endeavor on social media, when we started this channel, you know, we didn't know if anyone would like it, if anyone would care about it, if it would just go away quickly or people would latch onto it. People seem to really enjoy it. So we're very humbled by everyone. And so we want to give back and give away a very nice prize, um, not prize, a very nice item that I think a lot of you who watch this channel will be very excited to receive. So that's all I'm going to say today. Uh, we will describe the entire giveaway in detail um, in my next Dollar Tree haul. So having said all that, let's begin. Okay, the first thing I would like to show you guys today, we got, we love the solar stake lights from DT. We found, I got two of each of these. Look at these guys. I mean, are you kidding me? The pink flamingo solar stake light i mean absolutely adorable and look at this everyone the pineapple pineapple solar stake light so of course just like any solar stake light you know make sure this is the air you know you take it out obviously you know that goes in the ground um put it in there and into the ground but make sure that obviously is there when you buy them and make sure of course that the tab is there when you buy your solar stake lights from dt so we got two of each we got two um of the pineapple really exciting and two look at these adorable aren't these adorable these adorable pink flamingos and on the flamingos the light is kind of on the side which i thought was kind of neat so we found those um, really exciting items. We just thought they were just so cute. We just love, we love the solar stake lights from DT. For $1.25, it's a really good deal. Um, and they just, they work really well. We've had really good luck. Um, you know, spring is coming in Minnesota. It actually it was a trace of snow today, but I won't get into that. We have 60s in the forecast. So, okay. So we found that really exciting. Um. Next, this was really fun. So we found these for Mercy, my 14-year-old daughter. Just a just a regular pair of flip-flops, but look at look at the design. So we saw this really cute, these really cute lemons. And the other day I had hauled this adorable basket. And look, so the, the shade of blue is a little different, but look at the lemons. How cute is that? So these reminded us of this, and we just had to have them. And Mercy loves these. She is so excited. So we had to have those. And again, you know, it's, it's you know, they're $1.25, so it's not like they're the best material in the world. It's not like maybe they're going to last the longest. But I mean, for $1.25, just fun to just, you know, walk around the pool and... Um, have fun, summery thoughts of summer. So we're so excited to have found those. So um, now this is really fun. Well, I shouldn't say fun. This is really delicious. Um, well, I guess you could say fun too. 
So I had hauled these in a previous video and I had tried them and they were so delicious. And so I was super excited to find these again. This is two white chocolatey pretzel rods from Olivier's. And I think I gave it a 9.3. It was absolutely delicious. Guys, if you find these at your local DT, I highly recommend this. So yummy, so yummy. I would taste test it today. Um, I do have a taste test at the end of this video, but not these, because I already have in another previous video. But pick these up if you see them. So good. Oh my goodness, so we found those. So, um, we found this really wonderful Easter sign. Easter's coming, about two weeks away here. So, Cottontail Company Easter Egg Farm, fill your basket, open daily. Is that so cute? And the reason this one caught our eye, besides just being a very nice Easter sign in general, we used to have a cat who would sit inside of a Yahtzee box, and it reminded us of this bunny rabbit sitting inside the basket. You see so many um, Easter signs where the bunny is sitting kind of next to a basket, you know, next to, um, you know, or by the truck or just wherever, but you don't see many where the bunny is actually in the basket. And it reminded us um, of one of our kitties who's, who's departed, who used to sit inside of a Yahtzee box and it was the cutest thing ever. It was the cutest thing ever. So we just had to have that sign. So we thought that was absolutely adorable. Cottontail Company, Easter Egg Farm, fill your basket, open daily. So we found, we had previously hauled um, this sign as well. So we previously hauled this sign. But the reason I wanted to show this was because this, so we got, we, I just wanted to show this again. So this is, says, you know, fresh carrots, locally grown, 25 cents each, Cottontail Farms, 100% organic. So I'm just showing this again because it reminded us of this right here. So we got this really fun, you know, super fun pail. But look at all the, look at all these adorable, look at all these, I'll try to be close up with the glare here. Country Rabbit Candy Company, Carrot Patch, Pick Your Own, Open Daily. Um... Flower Market, Blooms and Bulbs, and Annual Cottontail Egg Hunt. So it has those same, um, and then Farm Fresh Eggs. So look at all the different sayings on, on this one bucket. We just thought that was absolutely wonderful. So we found that. And so I'm just showing this because it kind of reminded us of of this so that was adorable i thought i'm just so excited for easter i don't know about you guys i'm so excited for easter it's april 4th as i'm recording we are 13 days out and um so also with that basket or that pail reminded us of this pail the blue truck i mean you've got to be kidding me i love the blue truck Happy Easter, join the egg hunt. I'm sorry for any glare. So it says, Happy Easter, join the egg hunt. And speaking of the blue truck, I have to show you guys this. I have to show you guys this. So we had gotten this right after Valentine's Day. So Valentine's Day came and went, and they still had a couple of these. And I know I'd shown this on a previous haul. And I said, oh, maybe Mercy will, you know, maybe Mercy will do some, some art to it. Well, everyone, she did. And I know a lot of you out there really like Mercy's art. Look what she did, everyone. She painted this. Mercy did this. She's so talented. So I was just so excited to show you guys this because sometimes we'll tease her art, you know, and then sometimes, you know, you know, we're busy people. Life, you know, life kind of gets in the way sometimes, but she's so, she did this over the weekend, over her spring break, and we are so excited, and I thought you guys would be excited to see that Mercy did that. So I just wanted to show that in conjunction with this. So happy Easter, 
And again, it's very glary, I apologize. Happy Easter, join the egg hunt with the blue truck. And then this, it looked like this at the Dollar Tree after Valentine's Day and Mercy painted it. So I wanted to show everyone another piece of Mercy's art. So we were so excited for that. And then speaking of Mercy, so, you know, as I, as I just showed, um, we got the flip-flops for her. She's so excited. And then to kind of go along with that, she found this. She found this hat. So look at these adorable black polka dots. She just loved this when she saw it. So if you've seen Mercy on the taste test, you probably think this will probably match her personality. I know I do. And it's got kind of the cute ribbon tied in front here, you know, with a white background and black polka dots. And this is going to fit her great. Um, let's see how it fits on my big head. Look at that. Um, it, it'll look a lot better on Mercy, believe me. So I just thought... <laughs> I just thought I'd show that, um, how it fits on my, on my head, but this will be absolutely adorable on Mercy. So we found that. So we were so excited. Mercy was super pumped to find that. I mean, really pumped. So that's kind of all of the, kind of the Eastery things I have. Um, we did find these, which are really fun. Now, as a lot of you know, um, Dollar Tree has really cool, really cool, Thank you cards and just cards in general. So this is eight thank you cards. Of course, brand name, expressions from Hallmark. But I mean, seriously, you get eight of these for a buck 25. You know, just a really, really nice design on the thank you card. So we just thought that was so nice. And we just love getting these because I know everyone texts and everyone does all that stuff now. But And I, and I, I text too, but I thought it was really fun. You know, it's really fun to get a handwritten card from people. Don't you agree? You know, getting something in the regular old-fashioned U.S. mail is still really fun to get. And we just thought we'd pick up these thank you cards. So we found those. And we were excited to have done so. Now, these are fun. So we found three different sets of these wall decals. And now my son loves Paw Patrol. He loves Paw Patrol. He has, and I previously um, hauled a Paw, a Paw Patrol kind of a sign to go in his room. You know, it's kind of it's kind of a mat, kind of a sign. So, and we're gonna put all of these wall decals around that Paw Patrol that Paw Patrol sign. So here's kind of all the characters from the show. He knows all of their names. It's so cute. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen Paw Patrol, but. It's an adorable show, and Joaquin loves to watch it on his tablet. So you get eight, eight wall decals. So we found that for Paw Patrol. And then we found, now I love the show, The Office. You know, kind of the mid-2000s, kind of went to like 11 or 12, I think, maybe six or seven seasons of The Office. We found these really fun Office um, characters from the television show, The Office. Comment below, do you guys like the TV show, The Office? Really fun sitcom. There's Stanley, Dwight, Pam, Michael, Jim, and Angela. I still remember all their names from all the seasons I watched. And there's a bat. There must have been an episode where a bat was involved. I don't remember that one, to be honest. A pretzel and a teapot. But you get uh, 10 wall decals here for the TV show, The Office. We thought that was kind of fun for $1.25, so we found that. And then the kid's mom and I too um, really like kind of like desert decor. So we, we thought this was really fun. So here it is, here it is, you get um, one, two, three, four, it looks like you get, and then some on the back here, look at all these different decals you get here. So you get kind of, the, actually this one is kind of a, you get this, you know, the cactus and kind of this kind of plant. And then this, so these four. And then here you get, um, you get kind of two of these and another kind of cactusy thing. And then this guy and this guy. So there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I thought that was interesting. 
So these um, really fun wall decal. This one actually says jumbo stickers. So these jumbo stickers. But yeah, the, the, wall, the wall decals and the jumbo stickers at DT are pretty awesome. So we found those. So that's kind of that's kind of the different kind of springy Easter kind of stuff that we found. This is really fun. So Crazy Days of Callan. She has a wonderful, wonderful channel. Let me tell you guys, if you haven't checked out her channel, please do so. She has an amazing channel. Um, she hauled this on her channel and she said it was wonderful. So it is the three-in-one cotton set. You get um, 10 cotton pads. 70, you know, cotton swabs, you know, Q-tips, and 10 cotton balls, you know, for $1.25. And she said it works wonderful for road trips. You know, it just, um, you know, it's really nice. And you kind of open it up and you just kind of get, you get a lot of, I mean, that's a lot for $1.25. That's a lot for $1.25. So she held that on her channel. So I wanted to give her channel a shout out. And container could be used for all kinds of things. But I must say, Dollar Tree, could you please make your labels easier to come off? Because look what happened. We cannot, we could not get the label off with just our regular, you know, fingernails. So we didn't, we thought maybe we'll use some Goo Gone, but we thought we didn't want to use an entire container of Goo Gone just for one container. So could you guys comment below? Do you know, what do you think is the best way to get a difficult label off? Because look inside here. Now this is, these do not, these are not removable, but you could use this for, you know, you could put beads in here or, you know, anything crafting, any any crafting material at all. And I just thought it would be really fun. You know, we got two of these. We got one we haven't taken the stuff out yet. And then, um, and then this one, we did take the stuff out, but what is the best way to get a really difficult label off? Comment below and let me know. Because we didn't want to use we didn't want to use a whole container of Gugon, you know, it's dollar twenty five. So, so let us know, guys, if you're know, the best way to get difficult labels off. So, thank you, Crazy Days of Callan, for hauling this on your channel. And guys, and guys, go check out her channel. It is wonderful. She's so funny. She's so positive. Just absolutely love her channel. So, thank you, Callan, for that. So we found that. So moving on. Um. Now, the ladies of the house, they both love the Bolero facial wipes. So we found two different. We found, um, this is lavender and witch hazel. You get 32. So 32 count for the Bolero clarifying facial wipes. They love them. I should use them on my face as well. I've been kind of lax in doing that. And then they found this really fun scent, coconut and tea tree so two different fun scents there you got the lavender and witch hazel and then the coconut and the tea tree and again it's a 32 count bolero facial wipes so we found that and then oh now this is an interesting one so i had hauled this in a previous haul and this is the la colors plumps lashes now i don't use this you know for myself but the kid's mom you know, she obviously, you know, she uses mascara like a lot of people do. And so she wanted me to tell everyone that she likes it a lot. However, and she'll keep using it. She likes it a lot. But she wanted me to tell everyone, if you get this and you haven't used this, when you take, when you pull this out and the brush comes out, there is a lot of mascara on there, like a lot. So she wanted me to mention that to everyone. So I did. So there you have it. But we were, um, the kid's mom was super excited to have found that. So we found that. And then in a similar vein, um, I have seen this hauled on so many channels. It is SGXNYC. And obviously there's two of these here. There is Luminous Repair Shine Spray, 100% Showed improved shine for all hair types, 6.5 ounces. So we found that one. This one, you know, SGX NYC, Salon Graphics, the Peacemaker Beachy Texture Spray. And this one's also 6.5 ounces. 
Now, it kind of just shoots in an upward thing. So she really had to go from a distance. And so she just kind of wanted to tell everyone because she was kind of shocked when she used it. So let me see. I'm going to spray this and see how this works on camera. Can you see how it kind of shoots way up? So you kind of have, she said you kind of have to do it from a distance and it just, um, she wanted everyone to know that. So similarly with the other one too, and I'll demonstrate that one in a second here, but she really, she likes the, she likes it, but she comes out at the angle, you, you know, sort of unexpected. So I'll demonstrate this one too. I don't know if you can see that. So she wanted me to tell everyone that. So there you have it. Thank you, kids' mom, for that. And so we found these. But she said she really likes the brand. You know, it's normally pretty expensive um, in the store if you don't get it from the Dollar Tree. But so we found those. Very exciting. Just about three or four more items before we get to the taste test, which I'm super excited about today. So excited about today's taste test. Okay. So, you know, these are kind of everyday items we found. But, oh. We love this type of Kleenex. We love this brand of Kleenex at the Dollar Tree. Just kind of the simple, it's, you know, the two-ply, 175 sheets. You know, it just says tissues, you know, kind of like a generic. Um, but they have Scotties, but we find the Scotties are kind of dusty. You know, Scotties is a good brand, but we find, for us, we just kind of find the Scotties sort of dusty. Then they have this brand, but kind of in a square. And I think in the square, you might get less sheets. I think you do. So in this one, you get 175 sheets. So we picked it up because they're kind of hard to find. It's allergy season here, probably across the whole U.S., but Minnesota, we have um, a really big allergy season around here. So we picked up that. On three different, um, one from Jot and two from Garden Collection. But just, just this pruner, this needle point pruner for when um, plants finally come up in this state. So we got that. That's kind of fun. And then we found um, this shear, the serrated pruning shear. This is also from Garden Collection. I like the color on that. And I like the color on the pruner. So we found that. And then we just kind of needed a hole punch around the house. So from Jot, we got this nice green hole punch. So it's kind of fun just to find... Um, just to find the three of these things. Just kind of a, you know, a little gardening and a little around the house things. So we found those. One more item before the taste test. Okay, uh, speaking of really fun channels, so I mentioned Crazy Days of Callan's channel. Go check it out, it's wonderful. Also, Triple G's has a wonderful channel. Absolutely wonderful. She's just, um, she's great. Check her out, Triple, capital G, small s. She found this and she hauled this. So this is true lemon. And what it is, is it's crystallized lemon for water, tea, and recipes. It's zero calories and zero sugars. So it's unsweetened. So it's not lemonade. It's unsweetened, non-GMO. You get 12 packets. Yes, yeah, so you just add it to your water, your tea. You know, it says use just like a lemon wedge. And this is surprisingly difficult to find. So guys, if you see this in your store, if you like this kind of thing, I would pick it up um, because it was difficult for us to find and we found one. So one more thing before the taste test, and this is a food item, but I'm not gonna taste this one. Mercy loves these Haribo Happy Cola. Sorry for the glare. Haribo Happy Cola gummy candies. She loves them. She really likes this flavor. This one also, we don't often, sometimes we find this in the store and sometimes not. You know, some of the gummy candies, you always see the flavor each and every time. Um, this one's a little harder to find. I myself love love cola in general. So you get four ounces. Of course, Haribo is a wonderful brand and Mercy loves these. So we picked these up. Comment below if you've tried these. These have a 110 calories per serving. I kind of wish I was taste testing this one, but I'm not going to because Mercy would love to eat all of these because she just adores them. So pick these up at your DT if you find them because 
she really likes them and I like them and they're wonderful. Oh, okay guys. I am so excited for this taste test. I have two hot items, which I love hot things. You know, I've got my trusty Coca-Cola, which is like my one vice in life. I love Coca-Cola. Um, I love all colas, but I seem to gravitate towards Coca-Cola, um, particularly for McDonald's. McDonald's, if you're listening, you know, send us some love. I'm just joking, but I am so excited. So we are gonna haul three things today. Um, taste test three things rather well, haul them and taste test them. So this taste test, um, you may see steam come out of my ears because we have done the last, I think three or four taste tests, we have done Zaps potato chips. And oh my goodness, everyone. Oh my goodness, have you ever seen these? Zaps New Orleans kettle style voodoo heat. Look what it did to this guy. This guy, his eyes became X's, his mouth became an O, and his hair, his red hair is standing uh, like electricity here. So I don't have much hair, so I doubt that'll happen to me. You get 2.5 ounces of this. This um, should be pretty hot. You get, there is 140 calories per serving. 360 calories per container. 2.5 servings in this container. So, yes, 360 if you ate this whole bag. So here we go, everyone. I'm so excited. Wish me luck. I'm kind of nervous. Um, when anytime, anytime it says voodoo heat, that could be pretty hot. So I'm going to try this, give my immediate score, and take a quick drink of Coke. Wow, look at this chip here. Look at how this one's kind of gnarly and kind of came out like that. This is gonna be a lot of flavor, I bet. Let's do it. Down the hatch. Mm, mm, wow. That hot. That's really hot. And really good. 9.2, absolutely delicious. It has a kick. If you do not like hot things, then I would not get this. If you do not like spicy things, I would not get this. If you like spicy things, this is a 9.2. Absolutely wonderful. Zaps, Voodoo Heat, 9.2. I need a drink of Coke after that. I think my face might have turned just a tiny bit red. Wow. Um, wow. That was hot. That was pretty hot. I've tried a lot of hot things on this channel. That was pretty hot. That's right up there. Woo! Voodoo heat indeed. You all know how to do that down in New Orleans. Very good. Now, a lot of people have, you know, when we did, we did a taste test, Mercy and I, and we did Tapatio ramen. And a lot of people are like, oh, you should try the Tapatito. Um, you should try the Tapatio chips. You should try the Tapatio, you know, just the sauce in it, you know, the sauce. And you should try the Tapatio, you know, anything. So look what we found. We found Tapatio hot fries with original salsa picante. I am so excited. Now this is really, you get 3.5 ounces here. Not bad for a buck 25. This one has um, 140 calories per serving, four servings per container. So I think that's 560 calories if you ate the whole bag. I have a feeling this is pretty hot and not many people could eat this whole bag. So let's try this. That last one was pretty hot. That'll be a tough act to follow. But I'm really excited to try this. I will show you what they look like. They look like this. Here, I'm gonna put my hand there. They look like that. So we're gonna try two of them. It's hot. Um, I'm trying to think which is hotter, this or the Zaps. I would say they're equally hot. They are equally hot. I like this one one-tenth lower. This is a 9.1. I'll give this a 9.1. I give the Zaps a 
two. Absolutely delicious. Let's try one more. Really good. Um, it does. It just tastes like the Tapatio, um, the sauce. Kind of tastes like the ramen, if I remember. That's really good. So, again, for these, I would say if you don't love hot things, I would avoid that. That's really hot. If you love hot things, I would race out to your DT to get that. It is so delicious. 9.1. I've had really good luck with taste tests lately. 9.2 and 9.1. Oh, trusty Coke. Last, and definitely not least, a commenter had said, you guys have to try the Tootsie Roll eggs. We couldn't find them in our store. So we were there yesterday, and look what we found. We found the Tootsie Roll eggs. I'm so excited. Um... If you are the commenter, let me know if you were the one who told me to try these because I'm really, really excited. And I apologize, I do not remember the commenter's name because it was several videos ago. Um, but I'm super excited to try this. Tootsie Roll eggs. So the info here is 100 calories per serving and there is 3.5 servings Per container. So 350 um, calories if you ate this whole bag. I will not eat the whole bag, but I will eat one or two right here on camera and I cannot wait. So again, if you are the commenter who told me to try these, comment below and let me know. And I want to thank you in advance. I'm sure I will love these. So they look like this coming out of the package. Kind of fun. So they're individually wrapped. That's kind of nice. So let's try this. There's different colors. There is, um, it looks like to me, there are three different colors. You get blue, green, and yellow. Which one to try? You know, I am going to try a blue one. Let's try a blue one. Super exciting. Tootsie Roll eggs. Super excited. Here's what they look like out of the package. Kind of almost looks like a big peanut M&M, doesn't it? So let's try this. Oh, wow. Mmm, that's really good. It just tastes like a Tootsie Roll, but... With kind of a, a slightly different flavor than just straight chocolate. Really good. That's really good. It's very chewy. It takes a second to chew. That's a 9.0. A 9.0 for me. I just can't quite put it up there with the chips. The chips were so good. So... Each, each thing I tried was one point down the line. 9.2 for the Zaps Voodoo Heat. 9.1 for Tapatio Hot Fries. And 9.0 for the Tootsie Roll Eggs. Wow, that was really fun. That was a great, that was a really fun taste test. Hope you guys had fun watching it. And everybody, that's it. That's it for today's haul. And again, um, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notification, share, and comment. And our next Dollar Tree haul that we post, we are going to give all the details for our new exciting giveaway that will happen when we reach 1,000 subscribers. And I would just want, I just want to say one more time how grateful we are at the growth of this channel. Every single one of you who leaves me a comment. I love answering the comments. Every single one of you who, even if you don't subscribe, if you just watch, I appreciate you so much. I love all of you. Um, it's been a real journey on this, you know, you don't realize kind of how big the world is until you you start a channel and you get comments from, I've got Canada, comments from Australia, from Sweden, from Canada, and from probably almost every state. 
And it's so exciting to go on this journey with all of you. And thank you for helping our channel grow. And we want to give back. So at 1,000 subscribers, we have a very exciting giveaway. I think most of you who watch this channel will be extremely pleased with the item that we're going to give away. And having said all that, keep shopping.